getting ready to do a live demo. My colleague Mike is going to take the operator of the vehicle into the cab and give him a thorough run through of how to use the control head and what to expect uh, when the driver backs up. This should take maybe about a minute and a half and then we're going to get right into the live demo. Control head. Uh, we, have a, we have an on and an off switch that's really mainly used just for the air brake part portion so you can override the, the brake valve if you need to in case you got to back up somewhere close or if something's kind of out of the you way. Can turn this off. You can hit the off, it'll override the brakes, it'll still give you an audible tone and a warning if something is there uh, but it'll just let you back up as normal. Okay. okay so you can, if it's something that's just off to the side a little bit, you can ignore kind of deal. Okay. Um, there's a cable that goes inside to here, a couple relays that hook into the reverse only, so the system will only come on in the reverse. It will not come on going forward. Okay. Um, there's also a brake light switch relay that goes to the brake light switch, so when the brake valve is activated, it'll turn the brake lights on, just so someone can tell that it's stopped. Um, and then there's another main harness that goes front to back, back to the sensors. So what it is is a infrared uh, lighting back there. It'll send out a, a pulse, and once it hits an object, it'll return. And once it hits that six foot mark, it'll apply that brakes. Oh, very good. Can you drive this thing? I can. You want to know what it feels like? Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen? I'm going to try running him over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, actually, he's going to sit here, and you're going to try running me over. Is that right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like okay. Fun. Now I should let you know that I do run behind the back of a moving vehicle. Um, I am an expert. Uh, please do not try this at home. Okay, so between you and me, what I'm going to do is stand behind this wall here. And the vehicle operator is going to reverse, but I'm going to wait until I'm in their blind spot, and then I'm going to run out behind the vehicle. So now what I'm going to do is put on this reflective vest and stand about 20 to 30 feet away from the moving vehicle. And this is going to demonstrate how powerful these infrared sensors are. So what's going to happen is when the truck backs up, um, it will detect this reflective material here and stop at about a 12 to 20 foot distance. We have set up the sensors to stop if it detects anything within a six foot distance, but because of the reflective material, um, the sensor picks it up at a further distance. This can also happen um, with a road sign or even a really large bright white surface area. So keep that in mind if your system does um, initiate the brakes before a six foot mark, um, it's probably because of something reflective or bright white. What do you think when I jumped out the yeah. back there? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. It came out yeah. quick, so it was I know. Right I yeah. know where you were at. Well, that, and see, I waited behind this wall right until you couldn't see me in your mirror, right? Because that's what the drivers are supposed to be looking at through mirrors. You don't, you can't rely on your camera, right? Because it's not always going to be 100%. And you can't see anything beyond X, Y, Z, right? Yeah. So 
I really wanted to give you that feel. And I'm sorry it was your first time I gave you a bit of a, a shock there, but you did great. Yeah, you're, you're a great sport, and, uh, and I trust the system, and I, I trust your skills. So, yeah, it worked out well. Well done. <laughs>